Go so ahead, my Robert. understanding is in the IT and OT side, you guys put proxies so that the IT side thinks it's talking to devices in the OT realm, but actually it's talking to waterfall. Yeah. And over in the OT side, the devices think they're talking to IT, but it's actually a proxy. And those proxies have unidirectional connectivity. Am I describing that right? Yeah, yeah. We, it's a clever architecture. So, so, so let, let's go to the real basic, but, but very widely used or very widely needed uh, use case, which is access to data, real-time yeah. access to, right. to production data. Right. So again, let's from a management center, or from whatever. management, from from uh, uh, um, you know al almost yeah. everything. I, I, you need that. So 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 let's assume that you you, you are um, a customer and you have ten or fifty or three hundred um, production plants right. worldwide. Again, you you need to have mm -hmm. at headquarters, and sometimes for third parties and sometimes for cloud yeah. services, yeah. you need to know what's going on either right. in the production or n or a, in the network or what's the state of their security. Yeah. Um, and the way you do it is, in most cases, you have systems that queries, sends queries, asks servers and systems in each of, of your sites mm -hmm. questions. You know, mm -hmm. give me this data, I need that data, uh, give me status, whatever. Right. You get that data and you, you you know, do, do whatever you need to do it. Now, uh, um, doing it in real time, which is which is the basic requirement, doing it online, um, you have the naive way is connecting all the networks, putting mm -hmm. firewalls, and allowing these queries to get in. Bi-directional TCP. Reg regular, yeah. everything yeah. is regular. Yeah. Uh, and you know, so headquarters is happy because they have the access mm -hmm. and the data they need. Uh, but once you have a way in you know, for these queries, there, there is a way in. Right. And once there's a way in, good things can happen. You know, good, good, good queries can get in, but bad queries yeah. can get it's in. It's usually bad incredibly data. convenient to REST API. It's all very beautiful yeah. and convenient. But you're saying when you do that, you open the whole place up to every hacker on the, on the, on the planet. You, you, you know, you have a say when, when there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. We say when there's a way, there's a will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if, right. if I can get into your production yeah. site, then somebody will, somebody will yeah, get will. in. Right. Either because uh, um, you know, um, they are doing it to get information, or they want to... Uh, um, uh, they want to interfere with your, yeah. your, with your production, with your business, or sometimes it's even they are they're not even aware. They, yeah. they just get in it's because automation. You're you know, there. You're there. Right. You're accessible. We do ransomware. You mm -hmm. know, let's get in and try. That's it. been my my experience. Is that's the majority of cases. Yeah. Somebody hits yeah. you and they go, yeah. look and, what I found. And why do you want to put? the industrial machinery producing cars yeah. that I can, not I can, but you yeah, know, the bad right. guy can get in and tell you, pay me or I'll stop them. Or pay me or some of your cars mm. will be manufactured in a wrong mm. way. Yeah. You know, so yeah. in that conventional case, you sit in the middle of that. So now, we right? sit in at the same place you would put the firewalls at the plant yeah. side, you know, the perimeter IT firewalls. IT-OT gateway or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It, it yeah. depends on the industry, they, they have yeah. different terms, but, but, you know, you have the production site, right. in, 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 again, in the naive in the, uh, way, you have a firewall there that, that connects to, to the internet. Right. makes sense. So, you know, you take that away, you put our system instead. Could you do both? No. No, no. get rid of the firewall. The, uh, you, you, the, there's no there's no point in, yeah, in, in doing sense. it together. Um, so you, you put the waterfall uh, unidirectional gateway at the same place you would have put uh -huh. the, 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 the firewall, or you know, in most cases instead of. Uh, and w what our system does is on the internal side, on the on the uh, uh, production side, on the industrial network side, it connects to all of the systems that, that you told it to, to, those systems that you need access to the data they, they hold, it accesses them and retrieves, fetches all of the data they, they have mm -hmm. and all of the changes in real time, all the time. Okay, it like queries it locally. Now, but we are inside the site, it doesn't matter, there's no security issue. 
all of those changes, all of that, that updated data is then gathered and pushed out through a physically unidirectional mm -hmm. medium. Okay, we, we have uh, a hardware, a special built hardware that allows data only to go mm -hmm. out. Once it's out, our system takes it and populates, copy, populates it in systems which are copy systems of those that are inside. Yeah. So now you have, and, and this is where in the sushi bar we, we put right. the, <laughs> the soy sauce and everything. Right. So you have the real systems inside and you have these uh, uh, um, replica systems outside which are fully functional because they are the same system just installed outside mm -hmm. and fully updated because this is what the waterfall gateway yeah. does it cool. like mirrors them yeah. it, it, in a way it's like a one-way mirror okay mm -hmm. now headquarters or your cloud or a third party when they need data they send the same query over the internet everything is uh, the same but instead of getting to the site and getting into the site they get to the site over the internet and they just query the external mm -hmm. copies. So they get, with, with almost, with no or almost no change in anything, right. not the procedures, not the systems, nothing, they get the ability to, to query production systems, real-time yeah. production systems, but in fact, they, they do it on the replica ones that are outside. It's a damn good idea. Uh, it's yes, a it is. Good idea. Yes, it is. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And and by that we we eliminated eliminated the need to provide a way in. Right. You know we 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 like uh, exported the problem outside. And now 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 it's a classic IT. Uh, uh, now it's a classic IT security issue. So you have data. How do you secure it? You you had that issue before because right. all of your system were exposed. That's right. And, and you wanted that data to go out. So you still need to protect the data. It still could be a disaster, but it, that's, that's a different problem. But uh, yeah, uh, and, and again, yeah. It's, it's, it's an issue that you had with or without us. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. once you deploy the unidirectional gateways on your sites, nothing can get back in. You, you, you have all of what you wanted, okay? You, you have full visibility, you can monitor your sites, you can query systems and get the answers. Everything is, is as you need, but nobody, nothing ever can get in from the yeah, internet and interfere good, yeah. with, with your systems. Thanks for checking out our video. Make sure you subscribe for more of our cybersecurity content and also make sure you visit our website. Have a great day.